Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallace hier. Heute werden wir ein bisschen über dieses Thema sprechen. Today we're going to talk about this topic, coordinating and subordinating conjunctions in German. So, just like English, uh, German has both uh, uses conjunctions, and these come in two basic types, coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. So we're going to talk about each here, and then maybe do some examples with one of each, so that you can see how it affects the sentence. So coordinating conjunctions in German normally are not set off by commas when you're writing them, and they do not affect the word order. That's the most important thing you need to remember. You can basically write a sentence as you normally would in its normal order. However, subordinating conjunctions in German do have an effect upon the word order of the sentence or clause following the conjunction. And what happens is that first verb will move to the end, and I will show you some examples of what I am talking about. So, coordinating conjunctions are basically, when you combine two phrases or clauses, they are considered independent in English, meaning that they can stand by themselves. So, we're going to focus for just uh, the practice here on the coordinating conjunction den, which in English means because. So. What you need to know is we're, there are two uh, conjunctions in German that mean because. One of them is a coordinating conjunction, den, and the other is a subordinating. So this would be a good uh, example for us to use. So we are going to combine two sentences. Uh, sentence number one, ich kann nicht zur Klasse gehen, I cannot go to class. Und ich muss zum Arzt gehen, I have to go to the doctor. So we want to combine this to say, I cannot go to class because I have to go to the doctor. So if we use den, the coordinating conjunction, to do this, it becomes, ich kann nicht zur Klasse gehen, denn ich muss zum Arzt gehen. And one thing you'll notice is the subject and verb in the first sentence and the subject and verb in the second sentence both have the same order. The verb's where it's supposed to be, just like as if you took two sentences that could stand by themselves and you put them together. Okay, now we're going to look at uh, subordinating conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions are the ones you have to watch out for in German because they do affect the word order of the clause or phrase that follows them. So for the purpose of today, for this example, we're going to use weil, which is a subordinating conjunction that also means because. So you have, like I said, two conjunctions that mean because, den, coordinating, weil, because. And I'm going to show you how this works with the same two sentences. So now, if we combine these using bile, you're going to notice something changes. The first sentence, basically, or first clause, if you will, stands just as it would. Ich kann nicht zur Klasse gehen. And I'm going to put a comma when I'm writing to set off the fact that this is a subordinating conjunction. And I'm going to write weil. And what you're going to notice is while in the first clause, the subject and first verb stay the same basic order. In the second sentence, that subject stayed where it was supposed to be, but that set first verb after the subject moved to the end of the clause. So this is the most important thing to remember. Okay, so now we're going to do some combining of some sentences here using subordinate conjunction bile, just so you can see. And if you want to try it on your own, stop the video here. But if you just want to get the answers, then listen up. Ich mag Sport, I like Sport, or PE, weil ich gern Fußball spiele. And you'll see that I've moved the Spieler to the end of the clause here. Ich finde Biologie toll, weil der Lehrer nett ist. Ich mag Französisch nicht, weil es sehr schwierig ist. Sie ist viel Gemüse, weil sie Vegetarier ist. Ich verstehe nicht, weil ich meine Hausaufgaben nicht, nicht mache. Okay, so another set of examples here. Wir gehen heute nicht in die Schule, weil es Samstag ist. Er geht oft zum Zoo, weil ich Tiere mag. Du trägst einen Pullover, weil es kalt ist. Ich stehe sehr früh auf, weil ich auf Urlaub gehe. Die Schule tragen keine Uniform, weil sie einen Ausflug machen. Okay, so just some examples. And again, you'll see here, in all my examples, how the verb has been moved to the end. That's the most important thing. Okay, ich denke, das war's. Vielen Dank für das Zuschauen und Zuhören. Ich hoffe, dass das ein bisschen geholfen hat. Vielen Dank. Tschüss.